In spite of being on contraception, Pasha the lioness found herself unexpectedly expecting. However, the most astonishing revelation that left everyone in disbelief was yet to come. Exhausted and weakened, Pasha had just given birth to two beautiful cubs after enduring a lengthy and challenging labor process. The staff at the Lion and Cheetah Park near Harare, Zimbabwe, were overjoyed, witnessing the difficult birth with held breath. At certain points, they even feared for the lioness's survival. As Pasha cleaned her cubs, the park workers couldn't help but marvel at the incredible feat she had accomplished. Having observed the birthing process firsthand, they understood that delivering cubs was deemed impossible for Pasha. Yet, her challenges were far from over. Despite their excitement about the new additions to the pride, the vet prescribed a contraceptive pill to control Pasha's breeding. It's a common practice in wildlife sanctuaries to administer contraceptive methods for managing animal populations, and this wasn't the first time such a measure had been employed. After all, Pasha's previous pregnancy and birthing had nearly cost her life, and they aimed to ensure her well-being and prevent further strain on her health. After the contraceptive pill was administered, everything seemed to return to normal. Pasha the lioness proudly introduced her two cubs to the pride, and the others warmly welcomed them. Over time, her cubs thrived and grew into magnificent young lions. Pasha appeared to have maintained her position within the pride and interacted with other males without apparent consequences. It appeared to be a success story, and everyone believed they had resolved her breeding issues. However, beneath the surface, an unforeseen storm was brewing. Just a few months after the contraceptive pill had been given, the vet and park staff gathered around Pasha once again. This time, their faces displayed shock and disbelief. An unimaginable event had transpired, Pasha was pregnant once more, despite being on birth control. The astonishment and confusion in the air were tangible, leaving everyone puzzled and seeking answers. The news sent waves of curiosity and concern throughout the park. How could Pasha have become pregnant? Despite the implemented contraceptive measures, this unexpected twist left staff members contemplating the perplexing enigma. In a desperate quest for explanations and solutions, they confirmed Pasha's unexpected pregnancy through comprehensive examinations and tests conducted by the veterinarian, leaving no doubt about the lioness's condition, she was carrying a new litter of cubs. Perplexed by this puzzling situation, the park staff sought assistance from reproductive experts and wildlife contraception specialists. Despite thorough analysis and consultations, no one could comprehend what had caused the contraceptive pill to fail, leaving many questions unanswered. With no other option, the workers dedicated themselves to caring for the pregnant lioness as her due date approached. Their utmost priority was ensuring Pasha's well-being and the safety of her upcoming litter. Diligently, they kept a watchful eye on her health, ever vigilant for any changes or signs of distress. By providing her with a balanced and nutritious diet, they aimed to support her during this crucial time. As the days passed, anticipation grew among the workers, who assembled a dedicated team on standby, prepared to assist Pasha whenever necessary. Despite the shock and confusion, their focus shifted to providing the best possible care for Pasha and her soon-to-arrive cubs. They remained hopeful and ready to handle whatever challenges these unexpected events might bring. The long-awaited day finally arrived, and the expectant mother, Pasha, went into labor. The workers observed with a mix of excitement and apprehension as she displayed instinctual behaviors signaling the imminent arrival of her cubs. As hours passed, the workers' anxiety heightened, keeping a close eye on her progress and prepared to intervene if necessary. At last, the first cub was born, a tiny and precious addition to the pride. Witnessing the miracle of life unfolding before their eyes, the workers collectively sighed with relief. However, the surprises didn't end there, another cub emerged, and then yet another, until Pasha gave birth to eight cubs. This extraordinary feat defied all expectations and set a world record, leaving everyone in disbelief. Pasha's incredible story of giving birth to eight cubs in a single litter, despite being on a contraceptive pill, spread like wildfire through the wildlife community, shocking experts and enthusiasts alike. 
It was unprecedented, capturing the hearts of people worldwide. As they marveled at the strength and resilience of this remarkable lioness, Hilary Matsikanda, the head of scientific services for Zimbabwe's Park Authority, confirmed the extraordinary occurrence of Pasha's birth. Rightfully labeling it as a world record in the history of lions worldwide, such a large litter had never been documented before. Traditionally, lionesses give birth to two cubs per litter, with four considered exceptionally lucky. Yet, against all odds and despite her rough birthing history, Pasha shattered these norms, showcasing that nature can defy even the most established expectations. The decision to put Pasha on a contraceptive pill to manage her breeding had been made with good intentions, but fate had other plans. News of Pasha's exceptional feat resonated far beyond Zimbabwe's borders, surpassing the previous national record set in China, where a lioness in a zoo had given birth to six cubs. Pasha's unprecedented achievement captured the attention and admiration of people worldwide. However, amidst the excitement, the well-being of Pasha and her cubs took center stage. The remarkable lioness was weak after multiple births, requiring close monitoring and specialized care. The zoo's caretakers took every precaution to ensure her recovery and support the health of her cubs. They improved her diet, providing a balanced mix of high-quality meat enriched with essential vitamins and minerals. Frequent daily meals supplied the necessary energy and nutrients to help her regain her strength. Additionally, fresh water was always available to keep her hydrated and maintain her overall well-being during this critical period. The welfare of Pasha and her extraordinary brood remained the top priority for the devoted team at the park, aiming to ensure their thriving future in the wild. As they focused on the well-being of the lioness and her cubs, the staff faced the challenge of separating the tiny cubs from the recovering mother. The park's dedicated team tirelessly supported resorting to bottle feeding the octuplets to ensure nourishment and survival. Three of the eight precious cubs born to Pasha stood out due to their unusually small size and delicate condition. Recognizing the vulnerability of these tiny cubs, the caretakers made the difficult decision to place them in intensive care, where they would receive specialized attention and round-the-clock monitoring. Within the intensive care unit, each cub received personalized care and frequent feedings, ensuring they received the essential nourishment needed for their tiny bodies to grow and develop. Out of the three cubs in intensive care, one proved to be the most concerning. Despite all the care and efforts, it struggled to improve and remain smaller and weaker than the rest. At times, the caretakers could barely tell if it was still alive. While the other two cubs began to show signs of improvement, this last one's condition worsened. The caretakers were on the brink of losing hope when the cub's health suddenly took a drastic turn for the better. Miraculously, it was around the same time that Pasha regained her strength, further adding to the sense of awe and wonder at this extraordinary journey of survival. The caretaker's perseverance and devotion paid off as both Pasha and her tiny cub defied the odds, inspiring admiration and respect among everyone at the park. This experience further solidified the deep bond between the dedicated staff and the remarkable lioness and her cubs, fostering a profound sense of responsibility to ensure their continued health and happiness. The bond between Mother Pasha and her tiny cub was so profound that it seemed they recovered together. This heartwarming connection was the beginning of good things for this extraordinary family. While Pasha and her three tiny cubs received intensive care, the remaining lions in the pride were not neglected. The dedicated staff prioritized closely observing and attending to their needs within a separate enclosure, ensuring their well-being and development. Recognizing the importance of maternal care and nourishment for the cubs, the staff took on the role of surrogate mothers. They understood the significance of replicating the natural feeding process and diligently suckled the cubs from bottles. Each time they woke up from sleep. This nurturing act aimed to provide the tiny cubs with vital nutrition for their growth and thriving. The staff's dedication didn't stop there, they comprehended that the cubs still required a significant amount of milk and warmth to support their ongoing development. They followed a strict feeding schedule with great care and attention, ensuring the cubs received adequate formula milk at regular intervals. 
With a meticulous approach, the caretakers ensured that the cubs' nutritional needs were comprehensively addressed, enabling them to gain the necessary strength and energy for their flourishing. Amidst constant care and devotion, the entire park witnessed a unique and heartening spectacle as the staff formed a close bond with the cubs, serving as their surrogate family. This unforeseen turn of events strengthened the connection between the workers and the pride, transforming the park into a loving and nurturing home for all its inhabitants. Together, they embarked on a journey of growth and recovery, treasuring the precious moments of unity and survival that united them as an extraordinary family. The heartening image of these caretakers tenderly nurturing Pasha's extraordinary offspring became a powerful testament to the unbreakable bond between humans and animals. Their steadfast dedication to the well-being of these cubs underscored the tremendous responsibility entrusted to those caring for the park's inhabitants. The park's management meticulously considered when to share the news with the public, aiming to be fully prepared for the inevitable influx of attention. When Pasha's story was finally shared, it captivated the imagination of both scientists and the general public, serving as a poignant reminder that nature is an endless source of surprises that can surpass our understanding. The news of Pasha's world record-breaking litter spread rapidly, transforming the lion and cheetah park into a center of excitement and curiosity. Enthusiastic visitors observed the extraordinary lioness and her remarkable cubs, eager to capture the moment with their cameras. Whispers of astonishment echoed through the air as visitors exchanged tales of this unforgettable sight. Departing from the Lion and Cheetah Park, visitors carried cherished memories of this extraordinary experience and a newfound appreciation for the magnificence of nature. Pasha's story stirred inspiration in all who heard it, leaving a lasting impact on everyone who witnessed this rare and beautiful exhibition of life's wonders. The enduring connection between the park's caretakers and the pride of lions illustrated the profound depth of the human-animal bond and the shared responsibility to protect and care for the precious wildlife that enriches our world. What are your thoughts on this remarkable story? Share your comments below. Until next time, goodbye. Let's continue. The fox caught a hare alive, and when he was about to have a delicious meal, he was watched by a sharp-eyed eagle. The eagle snatched the hare and was about to fly away. However, the red fox and the eagle are about to stage a battle in the air. Nature has its own law of survival, the law of the jungle survives of the fittest. Except for seeing lions and tigers chasing the same prey together in animal world, fighting for your own life, it is difficult to see the fighting between animals. San Juan Island National Park in Washington State, USA, is home to many wild animals, including red foxes and rabbits, but also mule deer, wild turkeys and raccoons. Birds also frequent here. Of course, it not only attracts all kinds of wild animals, but also attracts many animal lovers, including Kevin Ebby, who lives more than 30 kilometers away from San Juan Island National Park in a small town. He is a professional photographer. Kevin has been very interested in nature and animals since he was a child. He has known a lot of animals since he was very young. When Kevin was in school, the teacher often asked him to introduce different animals to his classmates. Amid the surprise and admiration, little Kevin was greatly satisfied. He dreamed of becoming a biologist when he grew up. However, due to some reasons, Kevin did not realize his dream, but in order to continue to contact animals, he decided to become a videographer. In his spare time, he always goes to the park to shoot all kinds of animals. Under his lens, countless animals show their charming charm. Kevin truly interprets the beauty of nature. In order to make more people fall in love with nature, Kevin registered a social account and uploaded all the photos of animals he took, which earned him the attention of many netizens. In order to take more precious photos, Kevin traveled to many national parks and nature reserves. One day, he drove to San Juan Island National Park. What he didn't expect was that he was about to record a magical scene. Kevin was walking in the park when he noticed a few animals not far away. He took a few steps forward and saw clearly that it was the red fox. They seemed to be looking for food. Since he has never photographed a fox hunting before, Kevin decided not to let go of this rare opportunity. He walked to the side of the open space and sat down, 
holding up the camera and quietly waiting for the foxes. Next move. As Kevin expected, the red foxes started hunting. They seemed to be wandering around, but they were actually carefully observing everything around them. Soon, a hare was targeted by red foxes. Generally speaking, red foxes mainly feed on berries, insects and voles, and they are rarely seen catching hares. This rare scene made Kevin on the side very excited, and even his hands holding the camera trembled slightly. In an instant, the red fox launched an attack on the hare, and the result can be imagined. Before the hare started to escape, it was caught. In front of the cunning red fox, the hare has no advantage at all in terms of intelligence or combat effectiveness. However, just when the red fox was proudly holding the rabbit in its mouth, and was about to find a place to have a happy meal, suddenly, the red fox stopped, frightened and froze in place, which made Kevin, who was concentrating on shooting, very puzzled. He didn't understand what happened, but when Kevin looked aside, he understood everything instantly. As the saying goes, the mantis catches the cicada and the oriole is behind. It turned out that at this time, a bald eagle flew from a distance. Seeing the red fox pounced, the sharp left claw wanted to snatch the hair from the red fox's mouth. Although eagles are very good at catching small animals on the ground, they have another characteristic, that is, if there is ready-made prey, they will not spend a lot of time hunting by themselves, just grab it. The red fox was going to run away, but the speed of the bald eagle was too fast. Before the red fox could think of a way to escape, the bald eagle grabbed the rabbit. I thought the red fox would be frightened and drop the food in its mouth and run away. Unexpectedly, it bit the rabbit and refused to let go. It's so easy to hand over to others. The bald eagle also grabs its prey and does not let go. Although the red fox is no match for the bald eagle at all, the little red fox still wants to fight hard. Kevin found that the strong bald eagle is about to take the little red fox into the air. In the next second, the red fox and the rabbit were caught by the bald eagle and flew into the air. The red fox twisted its body in mid-air, shaking back and forth, trying to make the bald eagle let go of its claws. Unexpectedly, this bald eagle can lift such an astonishing weight. Even though the red fox's limbs danced wildly in mid-air, it still spread its wings and kept hanging in the air to fight against the red fox. It seems that this rabbit is bound to win. The bald eagle was also trying to throw the red fox down, and finally it moved the rabbit to its right paw, trying to shake off the fox's entanglement with its left paw. In mid-air, the fox naturally lost the wind. It struggled for a long time, but couldn't get back its prey. In order to save its own life, the red fox had no choice but to give up resistance. The witty red fox finally gave up on the hare, let go of its mouth and fell on the grass. It roared angrily at the bald eagle in the sky, extremely unwilling, but it could only watch it fly away. Kevin documented the whole process and it was fantastic. He couldn't believe his eyes. Looking at the sad-faced fox in the distance, who would have thought that such ups and downs are only eight seconds apart. Kevin slowly approached the red fox, perhaps because he had just experienced frustration. The red fox did not attack the approaching humans. Kevin raised the camera and took a close-up shot of the red fox's melancholy little face, the red fox seemed to be attracted by the black thing in the hands of the human beings. It took a closer look, and after confirming that it was not food, it ran away pitifully. Kevin uploaded the photos he took this time to his personal social platform. Once released, he attracted many netizens from different countries. Many people fell in love with the cute little red fox, and some even accused the bald eagle of stealing others' food. Kevin did not expect that the photos he accidentally took would be loved by so many netizens. This not only made him feel that he had a wonderful communication with the animals, but also made him more convinced of his choice. Until now, Kevin has been insisting on photographing wild animals. Perhaps for him, this is the happiest thing in his life. Let's continue. What happened? If it's your first time here and you want to learn new facts, it will definitely make you smarter and more informed. 
Make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you never miss a thing. The snake attacked the baby, but what the fox did was startling. Although Alexei completed his university studies with a degree in accounting, he decided to return to the village of his birth. He restored the wooden house left by his father who died many years ago, and started farming and raising livestock. The man had inherited some agricultural equipment from his father, and he also found the tractor left intact by his father. So he goes around the village and works the land. He also pulls a trailer when he needs to transport goods and the crops he harvests from the land. Alexei is an energetic, hard-working guy who goes to bed early when he gets home. On his days off, he takes his wife and children for a walk in the city near the village. They go to the movie theater, they go to the water park, and they come home at the end of the day. Over time, Alexei's children all married and lived in the city, while he and his wife stayed in the small village. Everyone envies that a man has such a beautiful wife, who still maintains an elegant demeanor in her fifties. Alexei loved his wife Marina very much and was always eager to return home. The couple have been together for 30 years and they have never had an argument or been angry. They are both calm and very much in love. Alexei and Marina's sons visit them every holiday, taking his wife and older son with him, while he leaves his younger son in the nursery. Grandfather loves his grandson very much. The boy is bright and enjoys walking with his grandfather in the forest and helping him as he feeds the livestock and tills the land. That's why Alexei was so happy when he learned that his grandson was coming to visit him. During the summer vacation, Alexei's son, wife and son came. He stayed at home for a week, then he and his wife left because they had work to do, and they left little Nikita to his grandfather and grandmother. The grandfather refused to take his grandson to the field he was working with a tractor because of the high temperature, which could hurt him. He left him and Marina at home, and when he came back at night, he bought sweets or presents and they sat at home and played together. Although the grandfather is tired from work, he will sometimes agree to his grandson's request and take him for a trip in the woods near his home. There, they wandered among the woods, enjoying the beautiful nature and listening to the birdsong echoing in the forest. One day, Alexei was plowing with a tractor when he was startled by a little fox lying in front of the tractor. Fortunately, he didn't run over him, so he immediately stopped the car and got out of the car to check the little fox's situation. He noticed that the fox was in a miserable condition and was very hungry because of the loss of his mother, he had no food to eat. Alexei didn't bring food, so he took the little fox in his arms, took the poor animal to his house, put it in the garage, brought food and water, and left it there without telling his wife and grandson and went back to work. In the evening, the man came to check on the little fox, and found that the little fox had eaten all the food, drank all the water, and was lying on the spot. Alexei wanted to give the little fox as a gift to his grandson, but he was afraid that the fierce animal would hurt Nikita, so he decided to test his behavior to see if he was peaceful or aggressive. After two days, Alexei noticed that the little animal was very calm. As soon as the man opens the garage door, it dances happily and interacts with the man. That's why the grandfather brought the little fox to his grandson to take care of him, and advised his grandson to treat it kindly. Marina was terrified of the fox at first and kept watching her grandson, but over time she found the animal kind and calm, so she started loving him, approaching him and petting him. Little fox still lives at Alexei's house, and everyone in the family has grown attached and loved him. The man had planned to release the critter back into the forest once it regained its strength and mobility, but he didn't for two reasons. The first is that foxes are very small and cannot hunt. Instead, he may have fallen prey to a predator, also because he noticed that his grandson was so fascinated by foxes that he didn't separate from him. He became his best friend and spent most of his time playing in the yard with him. Alexei was very pleased to see his grandson happy so he had to keep the fox until the end of the summer vacation and Nikita left. As the weeks passed, the fox started to get bigger and started wandering around the house. The lively fox used to catch mice and eat them, so he doesn't need much food anymore. He became a hunter. Nikita was watching the fox hunt and it was fun to watch him hunt the mice.
because he had never seen an animal hunting its prey. When the time for Nikita's departure approached, the latter asked his grandfather for permission to take the fox. But Alexei refused and told him that the animal had a family waiting for him so he had to go back, then told him that he could come every holiday because the fox would not go away and would stay in the nearby woods inside. When Nikita got into the car, the fox followed the car until the car drove away. Everyone was moved by that scene. Alexei and Marina continued to take care of the little fox until he went to the forest and stayed there for a long time. The animal came to visit them at first, but over time, it stopped coming because it may have bred. About a year later, Nikita took his father and younger brother Sasha back to the village to visit his grandfather. The boy immediately started looking around the house for his friend the fox. When his grandfather approached him and told him that the animal was gone, he went to the forest and started living there with his friends. The little boy sighed and begged his grandpa to take him to visit his friend the fox because he missed him so much. The grandfather took his grandson around looking for the fox, but they couldn't find him. Then Alexei made his grandson forget about him because he was no longer there. Nikita no longer remembers the fox and realizes that the animal lives in his world with his family and friends. Alexei is fixing the ceiling while Marina prepares food in the kitchen while watching her grandchildren play in the yard. Moments later, the grandmother heard her eldest grandson screaming. She looked out the window and saw a large poisonous snake approaching her grandson. She ran out to get the snake away from Nikita, but the snake attacked her and forced her to turn back. The woman then ran to her husband for help. When Marina told her husband what had happened to their grandson, Alexei came down from the roof with a hammer in his hand and ran with his wife to save his grandson. There he found the little boy playing with the fox that lived in his house, while the snake was lying dead on the ground. The couple approached their grandson to check on him and found him to be doing well. The fox intervened at the last moment, stopping the snake from biting him and killing it instantly, before he hugged him and kept watching as the brave animal that saved their grandson's life blocked his way. The fox played with Nikita and his brother for about an hour, then left and disappeared into the forest, never to return. As for Alexei and Marina, they became keen to watch over their grandchildren and keep them from playing in the thick grass. Although they realize that someone is protecting them, they are willing to risk their lives for the family. Because they saved the fox's life and took care of him until he grew up and became stronger. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video on social networks. We will get back to you as soon as possible.